Well, hello there. Welcome to another super easy tutorial. I'm Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install and how to use VLC Media Player. So stay with me, don't go anywhere. VLC is a really cool media player. It will let you reproduce different extensions. So it's pretty worth it to have it on your PC. I will totally recommend it. So let's get to it with the installation. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to open your favorite web browser. In this case, I'm going to open Google Chrome. I have it right here. In the search bar, you can type VLC download for Windows. Yeah, like that. Uh, we can choose this link. The other two are in the Spanish. <laughs> And in here, you want to click this button right there. Click on it. The package will start downloaded soon. We shall see it right here in a few seconds. There it is. And it's done. Double click on the package. Click yes. Okay, it's loading the settings. I'm going to hide the web browser. And okay, we can continue with the installation now. You can choose any language that you want. In this case, I'm going to proceed with English. Click OK. Then click next. Uh, yeah, next. In here, all the components that we want. If you want a desktop shortcut, you can have it right there. Start menu. If you don't want it, just un uncheck that option. Okay. Um, yeah, the rest is is okay. We can proceed. Click next. Uh, the destination folder. You can leave that one or choose another one. In this case, I'm going to change it. Okay, that one right there. Then click install. All right, I will be back when it's done. All right, the installation is done. You can go ahead and click that finish button right there and the application will open. Okay, continue. And now I'm going to show you the basics of the application. Cool, now we can check all the tools that the application have. I will show you how to use them and even some tricks you can use. Uh, the first one is the media option right there. Uh, you can open a file or a video, open multiple files, open a folder, even open a disc if you have a DVD or a Blu-ray in your PC, that will do it. Uh, we can test the first option to open a file. Look for the video that you want to open right there. Click open. Previously on Lucifer. The cool part is that this video, for example, is in a MQB extension. Not all the media players can can open this type of video. The next thing we can do is to add a subtitle to the video if you have it. You can go ahead in subtitle, click add subtitle file, look for the subtitle and click open. When you click play, so you see it there. Pretty cool. You can even change the settings of the subtitle. For example, if you want the letter to be bigger or to be a different color, you can go to tools, click the preference option, go to subtitles. In here, you can change the font. You have tons of options. Uh, you can change the size a little bigger. Um, and we can change the color too. Pretty cool. And click save. We click the devil. And you've left. And there we have it. The new settings. That's pretty cool. The next thing we can do is also to arrange the speed of the subtitle. If your subtitle is not in sync with your video, you can always change that by going to Tools 
and track synchronization. In there, you will able to see the track synchronization seconds, the subtitled speed, and you can play with those settings in, until you see that uh, it is synchronized with the video and, and it is okay for you. That's a, another pretty cool option we have for this VLC application. Okay, what other features do we have? We have the playback menu right there. We can change the speed of the video. We can uh, choose the common um, options as play, stop, previous, next. And this one is pretty cool to record the video. That's awesome. Uh, what else? We have the audio option. In there, if you have a video with different tracks, you can select the track that you want to listen. Um, the audio device that you want to listen to the video and uh, if it is a stereo uh, increase decrease the volume pretty cool stuff then what else we have the video also right here you can change the aspect of the video if you wanted to zoom if you wanted to be bigger full screen we can change all that from here that's also pretty cool and I'm going to show you the options we have down there so what options do we have down here we have the play button we have the backward stop forward we can even control the volume of the video if you want more if you want less you can mute the video you can click play click pause you can control all those settings from down here you can even make the screen bigger by clicking this option, much better. And finally, we have this option to see the audio effects, video effects, and synchronization, all the subtitles we saw before. We can close that. And now I'm going to show you some tricks. For the first trick, I'm going to show you a faster and cooler way you can open a video for VLC. Uh, for that, we can go ahead and close the application, open the folder that you have the video, open the application as well. <laughs> then you can just drag the video into BLC. Previously on Lucifer. So you are the devil. And you Pretty cool, right? Okay, we can go ahead and close the application again. And for the second trick, I'm going to show you how to open the video with the subtitle already on you don't have to add it that's pretty neat too to do that you have to make sure that the video and the subtitle are in the same folder in this case I have the subtitle in a sub folder so let's change that uh, cut paste now we can proceed to open the application again and drag the video previously on pretty cool as you can see the subtitle is right there and that's all for today i really hope this video was helpful and you can start using the application right away if you like the video please click that like button right there and pretty important subscribe to my channel namaste and see you in the next tutorial